right now, but uh, I just it's on my mind, so I want to speak to you guys. But this one's gonna be about about spiritual warfare, gang stalking, all that. And I want to correct myself because I said this in the past a couple years ago, or uh, yeah, a couple years ago I said that uh, the gang stalking, like you could beat the program. I want to correct myself. So what I mean by that is that. You don't have to give it your energy. You don't have to focus on it. Even though they're attacking you hard, there are certain ways, certain tactics you could do to make it slow down where you're, when you put your mind centered on Christ and God, you don't focus on the spiritual warfare. You don't focus on the attack. So I wanna correct myself on that. Also, when it comes to being spiritually attacked, when it comes to being gang stalked, uh, sometimes, not all the time, it could be through willful sin. It could be through your disobedience. So time to take account, be accountable. Uh, the Bible says to examine yourself daily. How is Christ in you except you be reprobates? Many people who profess to be Christians or have a reprobated mind. Speak about this in Romans chapter 1, verse 28 to 32. Let's greet the people. Let's greet the people. What's up, Jake? Shalom, bro. What's up, Chris? What's up, Philip? What's up, Improved DB? What up, Supersonic? What's up, Christian? What's up, Leah? Shalom. What's up, Tish? Peace and blessings to you too. Modern spirits. Oh, yeah. Yep, uh, but my live stream I did yesterday too on modern spirits will be on my channel maybe by, by this weekend, so don't worry about that. Uh, what's up, famous shell? What up, all praises to uh, Ahai? Ah ah what's up, bro? What's up, spiritual bliss? All right, what's up, everyone checking in? But yeah, I want to I speak on that real quick, okay? When it comes to gang stalking, for those who don't know what, it mean, what that is, it's just another word of spiritual warfare. Um, and one thing I noticed, right, it's like, you know, I say that God chose me, when, you know, when, when I first, when God was waking me up in 2018. But truth be told, I've always been a chosen one. The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 4 to 5, that God has chosen you from the womb. So the minute, it's not like we just wake up one day, oh, and, you know, we were just not conscious of it, okay? We didn't know God's uh, commandments. Yeah, some of us didn't know who the Son of God was. So, we had to, you know, and that talks about this in the, in the curses, and uh, the Hebrews that we went through, uh, we would go be cursed, okay? Because of our ancestors' sins. They rebelled against God, so we had to, you know, break these generational curses off. So it's important to have wisdom, knowledge, and understanding so you can understand why certain things happen. But yes, you've been chosen since birth. It's not a coincidence, okay? Many are called, few are chosen. The chosen are gonna be, uh, are gonna be called to be obedient to give up the world, to leave the world behind, to follow Christ. Simple, simple, okay? And like I was talking about with this gang stalking stuff and spiritual warfare, uh, now there's two ways you can get attacked. One, through your willful sin, disobedience. Uh, you may be, or, or it could be something that you don't even know what you're doing. You might not even think it's a sin. Uh, like a lot of sisters hit me up, oh Mark, you know, is tarot cards okay to do? Bro, that's all demonic. So you might not even know it's a sin. That's opening doors. So you can get attacked through that. Um, you know, the new age type of stuff, spiritual stuff, like when people see my videos and then they see spiritual, the people of the world, they click on it, but they don't understand that this is the Holy Spirit right here. We ain't doing the other stuff. Okay. So, uh, so willful sin, disobedience, or you can get attacked because you're about to level up. The devil sees what God's about to bless you with. He sees it, bro. Just like how the devil saw what Christ was about to do. Um, when he tried to get him to sell his soul to him and bow down to him. So the devil knows before you know, so he could attack you from there too. So it's just a test, bro. And when the devil is attacking you, it's gonna be a whole bunch of hyenas lining up to attack you too, okay? And and the more you get, the harder you get attacked, the bigger the blessing. Always remember that, bro. The harder you get attacked, the bigger the blessing. So when it comes to the spiritual warfare stuff, gang stalking stuff, uh, just walking wisdom, understanding the times we're in, and we're not battling against flesh and blood, and the tares and the wheats, are being manifested like bro i i can see so clear now bro like it's so obvious and uh it talks about this in luke chapter 10 verse 23 to 24 it says that um to the disciples of christ he gave them eyes to see and ears to hear that the kings and the prophets the old time weren't able to see go look that up if you want you can leave that in the comment section too below luke chapter 10 verse 23 to 24 it is freezing cold but i'm still out here and shout out to this uh my brother he has a, a a clothing line called all glory to god y'all check him out on instagram it's at ag2g so shout out to him go check him out 
But yeah, while, while, while talking about um, gang stalking, guys, don't focus your, don't put your energy on that. A lot of people they don't even understand when when you're when every single day you wake up and you're just thinking about the spiritual warfare, you're thinking about the attacks. That's a stronghold, bro. When I wake up, I don't think about that. Even though you have a smear campaigns against me, you have <laughs> you have all these attacks. Right? I don't pay attention to that, bro. And it's crazy because when I don't pay attention to that, then you have everyone else to me. Oh, do you see this? Do you see? It's like, bro, I don't care, bro. I'm focusing on the kingdom. Woo! <laughs> I'm focusing on God, bro. I'm focusing on, you know, the war. I'm meditating day night. I'm not trying to hear that other stuff, bro. All distractions, all agents, okay? So I'm walking straight, straight and narrow, baby. Straight and narrow. Woo! The fruit of the spirit of joy. Woo! Thank you so much. Manuel, the protector for the super chat. It says, I finally caught a live. I finally caught the Mark the Messenger live. Thanks to heavens. Wow, bro. I appreciate that, man. The Bible says kind words is as a medicine. Okay, when you speak kind to someone, that's 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 a healing, and that correlates to a precept what says that life and death is in the power of the tongue. So you could bless people with your tongue, or you could curse people. What are you doing? Or you could curse your own life. You could bless your own life, or you could curse your own life. What are you doing uh, today? What have you spoke today? Did you speak life today, or did you speak death? Okay, you've been programmed by this Babylonian system to speak death without even knowing. Okay, and also when it comes to spiritual warfare, again, gang stalk, it could also be your tongue, bro. It could also be the words you're speaking. Like I said, death lives in the power of the tongue. So we gotta get real spiritual, bro. 2023, okay, we gotta get real spiritual. We gotta continue denying this flesh, picking up our cross and following Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Woo! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Thank you so much for the super chat. Uh Geo dude, thank you, bro. Appreciate you, man. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14 to, six, to 15, uh, 16. Oh, yeah, it talks about um, the natural man doesn't understand the things of the Spirit of God, for it is foolish to him. Neither can he know them because he is spiritually discerned. But he who is spiritual um, is judged by no man and judges all things. Oh, yeah. The spiritual man is judged by no man and he's able to judge all things. Exactly. Uh, religious people can't comprehend that. And it's okay. Some people are, there's nothing, when I talk about religious people, I'm talking about the overly religious people. There's nothing wrong about being religious because the Bible does say religious people are not allowed to speak, you know, um, have a foul tongue, okay? I'm not religious. I always tell people I'm spiritual. I'm led by the Holy Spirit, simple as that. Um, a lot of people who are religious, not all of them, but they're carnally minded. They don't understand things of the spirit. And it's funny too, because even if you look in the Bible days, right? The people who were anointed, they were constantly attacked by the religious people, the carnal minds. It was always those Pharisees. Or um, when, like when David was being anointed, what was that dude's name? Uh, Saul, there you go, Saul, right? It was King Saul who was trying to, and, and, and see Saul, he knew. The Bible says he already knew that God was God uh, was gonna make him the next thing. He knew, he knew God was about to make it, but he tried to stop that. See, there's a lot of people in your life, they know that you're anointed. They know that you're chosen, that you're chosen, okay? And they're trying to stop that, bro. These devils and these demons, they don't want that in your life, bro. They want to see you miserable. They want to see you down bad. They want to see you in the bottom, bro. Jealousy is in their heart. Jealousy and envy is all in their aura. It's all in the spirit, okay? And you got to be watchful, okay? And also, you got to also understand this too, that many people that come in your, in your life, okay? And I'm just going to keep it real, bro. A lot of these people are snakes, okay? Don't be... And see, it sucks too because once you start to pray to God and ask Him, God, can you show me who, who's for me and who's not? God, can you show me? Is this person for me? Is this person an agent? Is this person working for the other side? Is this por person a tear? That's a, that's a, that's uh, professing to be of the light. Okay. Once you start to pray and ask God, who's really for you? Even the lady or the man you're sleeping next to could be an agent could be a could be someone who's just meant to destroy you okay yeah it could be it could be a family member bro and that's why christ says that uh christ says that um uh if you love your father mother wife children uh brother sister more than me you're not worthy of me christ kept it real and i'm gonna keep it real too okay uh remember christ was on fire for god so you gotta be on fire for god too we don't want to be lukewarm we don't want to be cold. Like, I'm cold right now, bro. It's, free it's freezing cold. I might put my hoodie on, but now it's freezing cold. But even then, bro, the Holy Spirit keeps me on fire, bro. We, we fired up. It's like 30 degrees out here, bro. 
I'm freezing and I'm still preaching the word of God because my faith is producing works for the kingdom of God. I'm living proof. Woo! Thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, Soul Summer, you always leave me uh, super chats, bro. I appreciate you, man. You said, your spirit bothers their demons. They get uncomfortable with your aura. It's a beautiful thing to burn bright for you. Yes, absolutely. People ask me this all the time, Mark, you know? People ask me this all the time, bro, especially it's a lot of women. They're like, oh, Mark, like, my family is, like, acting, like, different to towards me, you know? And I was like, you know, what did you do? What did you do different? She's like, oh, no, I just started reading my Bible more. And so like that. I'm like, oh, okay, that makes perfect sense, okay? The demons in them, yes, your family member can have spirits, okay? Even, even the little children can have demonic spirits in them. Don't be fooled, okay? Spirits, they don't care if you're a man or you're a woman, if you're old or if you're young, okay? Uh, they don't care, bro. Spirits are jumping in bodies that are uh, that have unclean vessels, okay? That are opening the sore and doors that reject Christ. They reject the gospel, okay? Even the Bible says the children of disobedience, okay? The children of disobedience. I was preaching against sin, okay? I was preaching against the once saved, always saved, right? I was telling people that, you know, we got to live a life of repentance. We got to live a life of obedience, okay? Uh, we can't be lukewarm out here, bro. We can't be disobedient. And the Bible says the spirit, the spirit of the Antichrist, the spirit of the wicked one, the devil, it works to the children of disobedience. So when I was getting attacked, I'm like, oh, it makes sense now. And the word of God is my shield, is my protection, okay? The shield of faith to protect me from the fury darts of the wicked. The wicked, I already, I already saw what was going on. In the spirit realm, I already saw what was going on. But you see, even though I'm being gang stalked, even though I was getting attacked, okay? Because I'm exposing sin, I'm speaking up. I'm being bold as a lion. What does the book of Proverbs say? The righteous are as bold as a lion. So I'm being bold as a lion. Woo, I'm warring like a lion. Whoa. <laughs> I'm praying. See, how do you war like a lion? As a human, okay? You gotta be like Christ, okay? Tell people to repent. They don't like to hear that. They don't like to hear that. People don't like to hear that. Those demons get real mad when you start to preach the gospel. Well, Christ says, if you don't repent, you will perish. Simple as that, okay? But they don't hear the word of God. Why? Because they're not of God. That's what the book, as the book of John says. Whoever does not hear God's words is because they are not of God. So as simple as that. So I'm roaring like a lion. <laughs> and see, a lion, uh, they're very, people are intimidated. Like the other animals, the hyenas, the, uh, all the other animals, they're intimidated of a lion because it's so bold. He's masking. He ain't afraid. <laughs> He's roaring like a lion, bro. Straight up, man. So, um, yeah, man. The, the children of disobedience, Satan works through them. No matter if they go to the church, guys, don't be fooled, bro. I be telling y'all, don't be fooled. Don't be fooled by Satan, okay? Just because someone goes to church, someone says, you know, lifting up their hands, you know, giving to their pastor on Sundays, okay? Um, calling themselves a Hebrew or a Christian or whatever they call themselves these days, okay? Please don't be fooled. The spirit of the devil works through the children of disobedience. Talks about this in Ephesians chapter 2. Go look it up if you don't believe me. And if someone wants to, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. It even says, uh-oh. So this is how life is, right? There's a roadblock, okay? This is exactly how life is. When you're on the narrow path, see, I was walking straight the whole time, you know? Things are, things are looking good for the most part. And all of a sudden, we see a roadblock, okay? But I'm, I'm going to still walk past it. I'm going to still walk past it. But this is how life is. Well, actually, I don't know if I'm going <laughs> to Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna still walk past it, bro. This is how life is, bro. I'm gonna get my Yeezys wet, man. Oh, heck no. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that's how it is. That's how it is, bro. That's exactly how it is. When you're walking in a straight, narrow path, you're gonna have times where it might be hard to cross. It might be hard, but we gotta cross anyways. Woo! We, we gotta cross anyway. Look at that. Look at that, bro. We still walking straight. That's straight and narrow, baby. Woo! Ha ha! And there's nothing, look at it, look at this. It don't stop, it don't stop, but I'm walking straight, bro. And see these devils and these demons, they don't want you to walk straight because when you're walking straight, you're on your way to salvation. These devils and demons, they don't want that in your life, bro. They want you to go to hell. Because why? Because they're going to hell. Misery loves company. People who are miserable want you to be miserable with them. People who are on the, the, the broad, the, Christ talks about the broad way, the, the wide gate, which leads to destruction. The people who are on that path, they want you to go there with them. And they'll be angry. Those demons in them will be real angry. When you, when you, when you see those roadblocks and you just keep on going up. When they're, sl they're slandering your character, okay? When they're discrediting you, falsely accusing you, and you keep on loving up, you keep on going straight, all oh, those demons get real mad. When they see you're not bothered, oh, it vexes their spirit because they know the spirit of God is with you. And there's nothing they can do. 
no matter how many stones they cast, it won't matter. Thank you so much for the super chat. Ooh, I almost missed it. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, Alex. Alex Lynn, I appreciate you, sis. And if anyone else left a super chat, I forgive me, guys. I, I appreciate it right now, bro. Y'all see those roadblocks, right? Y'all, that's how it is. That's how it is. On your on your way to, on the when, on your way to the narrow path straight, right? Let's just say, for instance, right? I'm just speaking for example. I don't know if y'all can see that. The chat's blocking it. Hold up. Like all the way over there, right? Let's just say, wait, right over there, okay? Let's just say heaven's over there. And I'm just speaking as an example. Chill out. Okay, so heaven's over there, right? You gotta keep on walking straight. There's gonna be so much roadblocks the enemy will place. There'll be so much roadblocks, and then there'll also be distractions, right? Yeah. I don't wanna see if I can walk in the net. Okay. I was gonna get that soccer ball right there and play with it. It could be, it could be that that soccer ball could be um, let's just say a female you're not supposed to be with or a man you're not supposed to be with and you get kind of comfortable and instead of you keep going straight you're stuck you're stagnated or maybe you could be the backslider okay you could be backsliding you could be living in disobedience and even though even though heaven's right there you backsliding now you go it's like no no but you just go but you're going back willfully it ain't like it ain't no, the devil you, and people be blaming the devil the devil this the devil nah, i'm not trying to hear that bro you're willfully backsliding but heaven's over there bro it's over there. But a lot of people are just going backwards. You know, God God showed them the truth, okay? Through the Son of God, uh, the Son of God, Jesus Christ. And he told, he told them to walk straight and narrow, but people going back, they going back. You know, and they're being deceived. They're being deceived. People who refuse to repent, people who refuse to be holy, okay? People who ref you refuse to obey the gospel, they going back. They going back. But heaven's over there, bro. It's over there, go straight, go straight. And we can, I can see it. I can see it. And I can also see the agents on the next level up. On the next level up, bro. I can see the agents over there, bro. I can see the demons who are plotting against me. I can see the, uh, the Bible says, the wicked watch the righteous and seek to slay him. In the book of Psalms chapter 37 and 32, the wicked watch the righteous seek, seek to slay him. So I'm walking straight, right? And there's there's agents all the way up in the spiritual realm look, looking high and looking high. Oh, Mark's telling people to repent? Oh, Mark's saving souls? Oh, Mark's leading people to Jesus Christ? The only way to salvation? Oh, Mark's doing that? Oh, oh, hell no. Let's break, let's, let's, let's attack him. Let's send the agents. Let's send the false accusers. Let's send the, the children of Satan to stop him. Because when you're saving souls to the kingdom of God, best believe these devils and these demons are mad, man. Because like I said earlier, misery loves company. People want to see you down bad, bro. They don't want to see you happy. They don't want to see you win in life. That's just, that's just the reality, man. Always understand this, especially this too. When, you're, when God's blessing you, when you're winning in life, don't don't let no one know, bro. I'm telling you. The only thing by telling people is just gonna allow them to be jealous. For the most part, not everybody, of course. For the most part, they're just gonna be jealous, mad, envious. They're gonna be bitter. So don't tell nobody, bro. Oh wow, someone left a 500 super chat. Is this real? Hold on, let me shout you out, bro. Thank you so much. Oh, it's a sis. Thank you so much, Chrissy Jesse. I appreciate you, sis. That's crazy. Appreciate you. I will always fight the devil. Yep. Every single day we're fighting the devil, man. Every single day we are fighting the devil. Uh, someone says, that's true. You blocked me on Instagram, but now I love your videos. I was annoyed by you, but now I see you do have God's wisdom. Yeah, there's a lot of people I'm blocking. Scoffers who just scoff. People who are just being annoying when I'm preaching the word. I'm trying to preach the word of God in peace. I don't want people to bother me, but these scoffers... These people who have demons in them, they don't want that. So yeah, I hit the block button, block, delete, report, spam, peace out. Now you gotta watch in the clouds. It is what it is, okay? When there's something that I don't agree with on YouTube or like Instagram, I move on with my life. I'm not in the comment section. I'm not trying to DM him or her. I'm moving on, bro, but people, they're just like annoying, bro. They're just annoying, man. It's crazy. The reprobate of mind. Yes, everyone should read that and meditate on that verse. That's in uh, Romans chapter, Romans chapter 1, verse 28 to 32. Okay, it talks about the reprobates. So yeah, always remember that. Um, the people who profess to be Christ, we know a person by their fruits. What does their fruits mean? Okay. Man, my hands are freezing cold right now, man. Woo! Their fruits mean their actions, their works, how they speak, how they talk. Um, you know, you, you know a person by their fruits. Simple as that. And like how I be telling y'all my uh, one of the lives I did a couple months ago. You can't GMO your fruits, okay? You can't fake it. 
People could pretend well, right? You can fool people, but you can't fool God. And one thing about your fruits, you can't you can't fool that. Anyone who has any type of discernment will be able to see through a deceiver. Okay? Any type of discernment will be able to see through a deceiver. So oh yeah, that's that's a good verse to meditate on. Not gonna lie. I've been making jokes, just little puns, not slandering, just make you guys laugh more. Yeah, please give me strength to love my enemies and to bless those who curse me. Yeah, it, it's hard to do that, but that's a commandment from Christ. Christ says that's a commandment from Christ. So we got to be doing that. Mark is on fire. Demon spirits near Mark are being destroyed right now. Yeah, I went live last night, right? And I, I always be going live in that one area and someone just randomly popped up, bro. Like, I think that was like attack, like trying to throw fear on me or something. Because I was going in exposing Satan's kingdom. And all of a sudden, someone just pops up out of nowhere. No one ever goes up there. I'm like, what the heck? So I ain't going there no more, bro. I, I ain't going there, man. That was crazy. Uh, Proverbs chapter 11, verse 9 says, with, it, with his mouth, the godless destroys his neighbor, but through knowledge, the righteous escapes. Keep spreading the word, Mark. Great work. Praise to God. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, uh, Phoenix. Thank you so much, DC, for the super chat. Praise the most high. Yes, all praise the most high. Someone said, repent and be holy. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, T-Raw, for the super chat. I got to stop walking back, guys, because uh, it's freezing cold right now. It's freezing. Uh, what does D-O-P mean? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Don't pay no mind the demons. They will fear you with fear. Yeah, man. That, that's what they do. That's what these demons do, man. Try to, put you, try to push you through fear. Like, let's say if you want to, like, preach the word, people always ask me, like, like, Mark, you know, I want to preach the gospel, but, you know, I'm afraid of what my family will think of me. I'm afraid of my friends will think about me. Bro, we don't want to, we don't operate in fear. Okay. And yes, when you speak the truth, you're going to be hated. You even had to, someone just says that, Mark, you blocked me on Instagram. But a couple months later, they come back saying, oh, no, but you, you, uh, you're really walking God. You also know what that person says. And there's a lot of scoffers who always come back. <laughs> I told y'all that. I told y'all that. Not to boast myself. I'm just speaking the truth. People who scoff and cast their stones, they're always going to come back because they know they're speaking, I'm speaking the truth. Just like Christ, those Pharisees, they kept bothering him, but they, can't, they kept on coming back because they know there was something special about him. So when people are like, oh, Mark, I'm unsubscribing. I'm unfollowing. Okay, you'll be back in a couple months. You're just, you just won't be comedy no more. You'll, you'll be back. <laughs> you'll be back, of course. There's a drought in true speaking. A lot of these people are just tickling your ears, and y'all and are just eating it up. Y'all are eating it up, man. This lady was trying to put fear in me. She said there was a little boy following her and talking about black magic. I was like, you need God. Yeah, the most high comes first over your children, husband, or mother, or father. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. But yeah, like I was talking about, you know, with this gang stalking stuff, I had to correct myself in the beginning, but those are just now joining. I had to correct myself. It is always going to happen because gang talking it just means spiritual warfare. But we don't want to be focusing our mind on that. That's why I'm trying to put the message out. Don't be focusing on the attacks of the enemy. Don't be focusing on uh, whatever demon, whatever witch, whatever wizard, any plans of the wicked that have against you. Don't focus on that because uh, all the weapons that are formed against you won't prosper anyways. So once you understand that, once you understand that you're a servant of Christ, all these attacks that they, they, they throw on you, it's going to backfire on them. Okay, I'm telling you, all I've seen this. I've only been on this narrow path for five years, but I've seen a lot, bro. The people who try to destroy you, they're only going to destroy themselves because you can't touch a child of God, bro. You can't touch my not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. They're going to learn the hard way. These scoffers and actually, and that's why when these scoffers and these haters come, you got to really pray for these people because, like I said, they don't understand they're being used. The kingdom of, of Satan is using the children of disobedience bro that's the bible man like really gotta start reading the word the children of disobedience satan uses them man gang stalking is basically watching you yeah and yet the bible like i said there's another verse too if someone wants to leave that other verse oh what's up verse end i know there's one for sure in psalms talks about uh the wicked watch the righteous and seek the slain it also says that they they uh watch our steps there was a bird right there y'all saw that it went almost right through my face. That's dope, bro. Bless you for sending love from Florida. Bless you too, uh, Jennifer. 
Forgive them, Lord, for they know not what they do. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, y'all hit the like button. Spirits, demonic, can teach kids, gang signs, learn that. Didn't realize that. Yeah, everyone should be leaving. Get your children out of the public schools. And I know it might be hard for some people. Maybe you're like a single mom, you know, you know, you don't have that. But if you're if you're married, y'all living, you're living with your husband, your wife. Get your children out of those schools, man. If that's how they get indoctr indoctrinated. That's how they get taught pornography, uh, drugs, sex at a young age. Okay, uh, and this is how Satan's getting the children. And Satan can only get the children if the the head. Uh, let's, let's say, let's say for instance, right? Because both parties got to be accountable. Let's just speak for man real quick. The man, he's not being submitted to Christ, okay? And the, maybe the, the wife is being submitted to him, but the man's not being submitted to Christ. Then the Satan could attack, okay? Anything that goes out of God's order is opening doors in your life, okay? It's always opening doors. So let's say, let's say for this, a woman, right? Let's say, the, let's say the man, he's being submitted to Christ. But the woman is not, okay? Satan can work through the children too. So, like I said, just be wise and always follow God's orders. His commandments are not grievous. That's what the Bible says. God's commandments are not grievous. They're actually to protect you, okay? They're actually sent, the, the commandments are sent to protect you, your soul, your spirit, and to strengthen you in the spiritual walk, okay? Always remember that. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. If someone wants to leave that Bible verse, go ahead, go ahead and leave it. I had to walk through that puddle again. <laughs> when you are a victim of gang stalking, you have to realize these people are breaking God's holy commandments and they are committing idolatry without even knowing it. They're glorifying you and not God. Yeah, I'm dealing with modern spirits through my neighbors. They gang stalk through life sur surround about what I'm doing. That's a mage. Dang. Train up a child when they're young. Yep. Yep. Thank you so much, Nicole, for the super chat. It says, thank you. Your teaching has really helped me and my family. We ha have stopped celebrating pagan holidays and our family was living. I really believe God has led me to you. Wow, thank you so much. Yes, God will definitely bless you for your obedience. All you guys who turned away from the pagan holidays, you turned away from the traditions of man. Okay, for those who don't know what that is, like, you know, Easter, Halloween, Christmas, uh, Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is coming up. Yes, guys, that's, that's a pagan holiday. Look it up, the origins behind it. Um, so, you know, when you give up those things, guys, the, the world's going to hate you. And But best believe the world's hating you. But when the world hates you, that's usually an indicator that you're close with God, okay? When the world loves you, that's usually an indicator that uh, it's an abomination to God. Even the Bible says that in Luke. So I'm gonna leave that verse too, okay? And, and guys, if you, because I'm not walking and I don't have my Bible on me, all, if you don't believe what I'm saying, all you have to do is go on Google and type in Luke, um, praise my man, abomination to God, KJV, it'll pop up. So let's use wisdom, let's use wisdom, okay? But the Bible says that when you're praised by man, when the world loves you, that is an abomination to God, okay? So what's the opposite of that? When the world hates you, okay, because you're doing the right thing. You know, you're on the narrow path. You know, you don't want to celebrate in these pagan holidays. Uh, you're just trying to honor God, right? You could expect that. You could expect your family calling you weird. Like, I've been telling my family members for years, bro, like, I, I don't want to go to your Christmas uh, dinner. I don't want to go to your Thanksgiving dinner. And every year, it's always a problem with them. Every year, it's like, Back when I was doing that, when I, back when I was celebrating those holidays ignorantly, and someone was like, oh, I'm not should I come? I'm like, okay, cool. But when someone's trying to force you to come, like, it has to be a spirit working through these people, bro. Because when people, when people are like, oh, I'm not should I come, Mark, back when I used to do that type of stuff, like, I was like, okay, cool. Or same thing when it comes to, like, the unclean meat, right? Um, if people don't want it, like, I, I actually never really liked that. Like, uh, seafood, I never liked seafood. But let's say, like, for instance, let's say if I, let's say I, for whatever reason, I would eat it, right? And I would, I can't force myself. Why don't you want to eat it? Why, you don't want to eat this? Well, why? Why not? Like, what's wrong with people? Like, what is wrong with people? There has to be a spirit working through people because 
Mormons, they want you to break God's laws because what is breaking God's laws? It is a sin, okay? Breaking God's laws is a sin. So uh, when, you're, when you're trying to honor God's laws, you could expect attacks. You could expect that, okay? That, that's when the matrix really attacks you. When you, start, when you start to honor his laws, now when you start to teach his laws, oh, the world is gonna attack you. These demons, these tares, the children of disobedience, they will attack. They will attack. Uh, shout out for the super chat. I don't know how to say it. That's like an Asian name. I don't know how to say that, but it's not going to lie. I was about to relapse just now, but I'm tired of falling. It's dead. Thank you for the slide. Pray for me, guys. It's up from here. Yeah, pray for that, brother. I don't know how to say your name. But yeah, whenever you guys are about to relapse, like I always tell you guys, like when it comes to like Seamer Church and OFAP, stay busy, bro. Find something to do. Most of the time when you're about to relapse, you're in your bed, watching TV, playing video games. Or maybe you're just scrolling through your phone, TikTok, Instagram. You're not really staying busy. So when that type of stuff hap happens, like you gotta find something to do. Go on a walk. Um, go on a walk. Uh, go to the gym. Go lift some weights. Maybe buy some weights. It's like 40, 50 bucks if you get those dumbbells. Uh, play basketball, play soccer, football, whatever you like to do. Like stay busy. An idle mind teaches much evil. So a lot of you guys who relapsed back when I used to do constellation calls for semen retention, a lot of the times they would tell me, like most of the time, everyone would tell me, most people would tell me that they relapsed because like, you know, they were just scrolling through Instagram and like they, they saw certain females. Also, if you're on Seymour Churchill and you guys don't want to relapse, please don't follow any IG model, bro. Like, let's keep it real. Like, if, if you're following, especially if you don't even know these girls, you don't know them, um, and you're out here liking their pictures, bro, that's kind of simp energy. Just keep it real. That's not worship. That's not, that's not, <laughs> man, that's not, be, that's not worship anybody, bro. But Christ, but God. Okay, a lot of dudes, they, they struggle with that worshiping females. I'm noticing that. It's like that simp energy. So yeah, unfollow all females that you don't know. Now, if you know them, it's different. But if you, if you don't know them, they're not acknowledging you and you're liking every pic. Like, what are you doing, bro? What are you doing? Oh, like that TikTok song. Oh, no, or something like that. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat, bro. Uh, or my fault, my fault, sis. Thank you, Tess. Appreciate you. Uh, how could I fast when I have low sugar problems? Uh, I'm not a doctor, so I can't answer that question for you. I, I don't answer any medical questions because, one, I don't want to get hit with any, like, any, any of that. Anyways, forget it. But, yeah, go ask your doctor. I love you, Mark. What a blessing it would be to meet you in person. All praises to the, all praises to the Holy Spirit speaking to you through us. Thank you so much, uh, Joel. Appreciate you. Read your Bible that helped me through since I've been clean. I was a dick and alcoholic for 35 years, but Christ, Christ Jesus delivered me. Praise and glory to God. Wow, 35 years, that's crazy. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. Yeah, a lot of people were telling me, like, Mark, uh, is smoking weed a sin? And I have, like, over five videos on that. I haven't made a video on weed in a long time because, like, I already have five videos. Like, I'm, I'm just, like, repeating the same things over and over again. But people don't watch old, my older videos. They only watch the ones I make, the new videos. For them, I see, At least what it seems like. So, uh, yes, yeah, smoking weed is a sin because our bodies are a temple of the Lord. So we're not supposed to be getting, uh, not just weed, it's any type of drugs. We're not supposed to be, uh, you know, doing that type of stuff. And guys, best believe, when it comes to being gang stalk, when it comes to being spir spiritual warfare, if you're out here getting high, uh, the devil, he, remember, the Bible says the devil seeks for those to devour, okay? Be sober and be watchful because the devil seeks for someone to destroy. So always keep that in mind. Whenever you're opening those doors, you're getting high and you're just chilling. You're living your best life. You're eating the munchies. You know, you're laughing. Ha 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 You know, you're laughing. You're chilling. You think everything is okay. But as a child of God, as a, especially if you're a warrior for Christ, bro, the devil is raging, man. The devil, and I don't want to scare nobody because I know there's some you know, young people who watch me, but I'm just letting you all know how it is, bro. Like, when you're doing that type of stuff, you think everything is okay. But no, man. Satan's trying to attack you. Anytime you open up a door willfully. Now, if you make a mistake, it's okay because we're covered under grace. But if you willfully do it, you're just doing it all the time and you're making excuses to do it all the time, that's when the devil has you, bro. Like, straight up. Okay? Uh, and that doesn't just go for weed. It goes for anything that's destroying your temple. Okay? God says that he will destroy anyone who defiles his temple. Now, like I said, if you do it once, a couple of times, ignorantly, we're covered under grace. So, But we don't abuse the spirit of grace. We're not like the children of disobedience who use grace as a license to sin. We're not like them, okay? Then you have people saying, oh, Mark, you teach work-based salvation. Don't believe the lies, guys. I teach that we're saved by faith uh, through the Son of God, okay? That's who we're saved by. 
So, um, and your faith, the Bible makes it clear that your faith without works is dead. I'm in the freezing cold weather, man. And I'm talking, I'm, what, well, this is about to be 40 minutes long, preaching. You know, I could have just been in my house chilling, but I want to talk to you guys, man. I want to help people because that's a spirit that God has blessed me with. Okay. And this, like I said, when, when, God, when you're, when you're anointed, these religious people, they're not going to like that, bro. They're going to be really mad and jealous of you for whatever reason, whatever demon, <laughs> whatever spirit working through them. Okay. When you're anointed by God, best believe they're coming. The agents, just like in the movie, the matrix, the agent Smiths, they're coming. And I recommend everyone watch that movie, bro. The first one and watch it with spiritual eyes. Okay. Watch it with spiritual eyes. Cause that, that, that is so, so everything, maybe not everything. Cause it is a Hollywood movie. So they always throw a little bit of lies, but sometimes they try to speak to us in these movies. If you watch, when I watch movies, I don't watch it for entertainment. I watch movies to see the message behind it. Like what are they trying to tell us? And uh, man, that first movie, the matrix bro is real. Whenever you want to leave Satan's kingdom, whenever God's calling you to leave the darkness, bro, the agents are coming, bro. And like I said in the beginning of this video, gang talking, these agents are always going to be coming. They're always going to be sent to you. Every time it's time to level up, every time it's time to rise and to get to the top. Okay. Every time never fails. You know, we're really living in a simulation. Okay. It's, everything is like programmed. Everything is programmed in this matrix. Whenever you want to do the right thing, you get attacked. Whenever you want to do the bad thing, the Satan let, let, leaves you alone. He leaves you alone. You know, so it's a simulation. It, it has to be, bro. It has to be. Um, you know, and like I always tell you guys, whenever it's time to, to be a man, you know, to be better with God, to, to you know, start uh, building your spirit back up, the matrix don't like that. But once you start to, you know, build your flesh up and be a slave to your flesh, the matrix is okay with you. The matrix says, oh, keep doing that. You're just like us. But the minute you want to be set apart, set apart for God, that's when you get attacked. That's when the agents come. So be, be expected. Don't be sad. Don't question why this is happening. Never want to question why certain things are happening. Understand that it is happening because you are chosen by God and the devil doesn't like that. The devil doesn't like that, man. I don't watch TV. Yeah, TV is kind of boring. I'd be falling asleep watching TVs and movies. Like even the Matrix. Even the Matrix is a classic movie, but I'd be falling asleep watching that too. When I first watched it, the world is but a stage. Yes, absolutely. It is absolutely a Truman Show. Yes, absolutely. Uh, thank you, uh, Monic Allen, for the super chat. She says, in the book of Hebrews, it talks about being enlightened. And if you walk away, there is no sacrifice for you. I'm leaving the world and picking up my cross. That's what's up. See, that's what's up. That's the way to salvation. Leaving this world because the Bible says in James chapter 4, verse 4, that a friend of the world is an enemy of God. So how can someone be of the world, be a friend of the world, and then profess to be a Christian? Then, then think that they're going to be, they're going to receive salvation. But you're what, the Bible says that you're God's enemy. So just a lot of people deceive, a lot of people twisting the Bible. For their own destruction, just as Paul states in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 15 to 17. So, like I said, guys, be watchful. The deception is real. We're in the last days. It's going to get more realer and realer. And you're going to start to see in the future. Uh, I know this is kind of off topic, but I feel like the most eyes let me speak right now. You're going to start to see people have sex with robots, guys. People who are so, or just, you know, the, the, the demon of lust has taken over their vessel. You're going to start to see human beings have sex with robots man you're gonna start to see that i mean it's, it's gonna get crazy out here the ai smart tv smartphones smart cars uh the, the money is gonna be digital cryptocurrency i hope you guys are seeing what's happening all correlates all linked to the mark of the beast i hope you guys are watchful i hope you guys are paying attention the antichrist spirit rising uh, the church afraid to speak up the church afraid to speak against sin uh, I hope you guys are watching man it's getting crazy out here it's getting real weird I'll tell you that man the energy in these people uh, people are no longer here it feels like it's sad bro what's up Mariah what's up perilous times yep absolutely Absolutely. Straight up per introverted perversion. Yep. 
Uh, thanks, Mark. Watching your videos helped me so much to get on sleep retention. That's what's up, Alex. That's what's up. Yeah, keep on retaining, bro. It ain't worth watching uh, Orn. I say Orn because I don't want to trigger any algorithms, but it ain't doing that. It ain't worth masturbating. There's no benefits to do that. Don't let the world fool you. No benefits to doing that at all. So, uh, yeah, do it the right way. Get a woman, get you a wife, and do it the right way, bro. It's never worth it to watch another man have sex with another woman. That doesn't even sound right, bro. Like, I can't believe that the world corrupted me to do that for 10 years, bro. But thank, thank you, God, for Jesus Christ for setting me free. And uh, what does Jesus say? He says, go and sin no more. Go and sin no more. So all praise to the most high for that. It's getting kind of dark out here, guys. Whew. It's freezing cold, guys. I'm freezing. It's so cold out here, man. Yes, robots have started to take over as wait staffs and restaurants in Australia. Oh, yeah. There's um, uh, where I'm at in California. Now, California is like the technology area. So we're always like, when it comes to technology, we're always ahead of the game compared to like outside, anywhere else, pretty much for the most part. And I saw a DoorDash. I'm not sure if it was DoorDash. It was one of those companies. It had a robot delivering food and it was crossing the street and it stopped and it, it waited for that, you know how the white man, the, the white sign went through. It stopped when it was a red, when it was a red stop. And then when the white sign went, it started walking. I'm like, is someone control? I looked around, I was like, is someone controlling it? Like, no one was controlling it. It was like, it was like programmed to go to that sign address. I'm like, what the heck? That's crazy. So yes, the, the robots are gonna take over. Uh, they're gonna take over the jobs. And uh, like I said, it's all part of the market of the beast system. They don't need humans no more. They have technology. Technology is all correlated, all linked to the market of the beast. It's fallen, fallen angel technology. I was one of the first content creators to say that too. All this technology, look at your iPhone. Look at the Apple. Why is it bitten? Like we gotta start a a asking these questions. It's not a coincidence. The first Apple product that was released was sold for $666. Unbelievable, bro. You could go look this up. The first Apple product was sold for $666. What does the Bible say about the mark of the beast being a number of man? 666. So, uh, like I said, smart car, uh, smart cars, smartphones, smart TVs, smart laptops, uh, all correlates to the mark of the beast. And uh, you won't be able to drive cars unless you have, unless you receive the chip. Uh, you have Elon Musk telling people. This is crazy, man. Yeah, you know, I'm telling people that they should get chips in their foreheads. And yet everyone like, oh, yeah, that's a great idea. All the sheeple, all the spiritually dead. That's a great idea, bro. Like, man, the deception is real, bro. I really I really feel bad for a lot of these people, man. The goats and the, and the, the lost sheep. But if you're a lost sheep, it's all good because Christ came for you. Christ came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. The same apple that Eve bit. Yep. Now the Bible doesn't mention an apple, but I see what you mean. Exactly. A lot of sin. I mean, I feel like this world has changed. Ever since these, these phones came out, the world, this world has changed. The vibration, the frequency of this planet changed completely. Um, ever since these iPhones, ever since that Apple logo that was bitten, that the first product was sold for $668. Like that's not a coincidence. What the heck, man? But yeah, man. As you guys can clearly see, it's getting kind of dark out here. Can y'all see me well? Because I can keep this up if y'all can see it. It looks kind of like blurry, so. We woke up for sure, yep. It used to be full Apple, now they bit it. Oh, really? oh yeah, you're right, you're right, yep. That's true. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. The fall of mankind through sin. And uh, there's a lot of problems that happen in our lives through, this, these, through these cell phones, man. Now, of course, there's always some good. I'm reaching you guys. I'm preaching the word on my on the, on the iPhone. So there's always some good. So this is how you use your phone. You know, how do you use technology? So I almost slipped on here last time I was live over here. So I'm not going to do that again. Hold on. I'm going a long way. I'm not going to do that again, bro. I almost fell on live. Heck nah. <laughs> Heck nah. It was like some mud. Mercedes Benz already started doing the autopilot car and other uh, car. Oh, no. All co our co uh, car companies are going to start doing that. All of them are. All, all of them are, guys. Every single one. Uh, if you guys look up a law, it says in 2035 that 
all uh, every car will be electric. Um, well, actually, there's only 17 states that's gonna that pass that bill. I think there's more now. I think it's 19 now. But last time I checked, it was 17. So yeah, you're gonna start to see more electric cars. Like I said, the, all those cars are all linked to gang stalking. It's all linked to being shipped to watching you and monitoring you. It's like this technology is now monitoring spirits. Okay, think about it, right? You ever had the time where you, you thought about getting some pizza and you're scrolling down Instagram and you see an ad for pizza, even though you never looked up any pizza, but you see an ad for that? Or like, let's say for instance, like you wanna buy, you wanna start buying new shoes, right? And then you start to see an ad for shoes. It's like, what the heck? Is this reading my mind, bro? Like, this is crazy, bro. This is crazy, but anyways, it was a pleasure building with you guys. As you guys can see, it's getting kind of dark, so you can barely see me, so I'm gonna have to end this. Uh, it was an honor building with you guys, man. If you haven't already, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you guys wish to support me, hit me up on my cash app at dollar sign mark the messenger. I uh, love you guys so much. This video will be on my channel. I'm going to put this on private. I'm going to put it on my main channel in a couple of days or maybe tomorrow. Love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.